Hi, this is Rochelle, and uh, welcome to my uh, video tutorial on uh, uh, YouTube Studio Beta Analytics. The first thing uh, that I need you to do is to go to your YouTube channel, and, and to your extreme right on the top is uh, your avatar. You can click on that, and you can go into your Creator Studio this way, or you can actually just go into your Creator, create, uh, creator Studio by clicking on the Creator Studio here on the uh, front page where you see your um, introductory um, the trailer. Okay, so I'm just going to click into my Creator Studio here. This will then bring me into this section here, and right here to my to your left, under the YouTube um, logo, under Creator Studio, you'll see YouTube Studio Beta. Click into that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to choose a uh, video to show you what the analytics is and how it works. So I'm just going to go into my video. And um, I'm going to show you the one that, that I'm choosing. And I think that this one had uh, quite a few views on it. So we're going to choose this one here. Okay. I'm just showing you this so that you can see that this is the one that uh, is being chosen. Okay. Now, as you can see here, you, uh, title, description, and the keywords. Now I'd, I'd like to click on the uh, analytics now. Okay, this is going to give me my overview. So this is actually my overview of my um, video that are up right now and I'm going to click on this arrow right here and I'm just going to say this was updated one minute ago I'm just going to say for the last um, actually I am going to I could say for the last seven days or could say for the last 28 days, or the last 90 days, or the, or the last 365 days. Or I could go custom, or I could go by the month, or by the year. So, um, for this tutorial, I think I'm just going to use custom. And my start date, which is here, I am going to start on... Um, November 15th and then I'm click apply and that's going to take me from November 15th to uh, today and this is my overview this is how many uh, people I've reached 4.8% this is the interest the viewers had uh, watch time 38 minutes on the average uh, 0 0.31 seconds and this gives me an opportunity to see how I could build an audience and how you do that is you look at your watch time from your subscribers 
your top countries. And I have just clicked in here to uh, show you what this is. Um, it looks like on November 9th, I guess that is probably the date that I, I um, launched this video. And then it shows me here that 12 views um, from, it looks like um, just, it says Canada. And it gives me the um, the information down here. I can look at the traffic source, and that's going to tell me where it came from. Channel pages, director unknown, the playlist page, playlists, which are also up here on the graph. And as you can see, where it's come from is the um, channel pages, is the most. And this is, if I wanted to click this one, just to look at, that would be um, just uh, external. So this is a really good informational tool to tell you exactly where um, people are actually getting your uh, videos from and um, uh, what countries are, are interested. Um, here's geography. For some reason it just says Canada and I can't see anything else so I'll have to go into that later. I don't have enough information for the viewer age viewer gender, not enough information. And, and again, they're still working on a lot of the, this. A lot of this information they're still working on. This is uh, subscriber status. And it says watch time 99%, subscribed 1%. So uh, sometimes it's not that easy for people just to subscribe because when you get subscribed to a lot of channels, uh, it can become a nuisance and you don't want all these videos coming in, so you just say, no, I'm not going to subscribe to any channels at all. So, um, and this shows me my, my subscribers here, the dates and when. My highest uh, subscriber rate was on the 9th. Uh, it also shows me the playlist. No data. And then you have more information here. And, and um, you know, I, I don't know if this information's in here yet, but I have clicked in a few. Like, for instance, I believe device type is in here. So computer, mobile phone, TV, or tablet. That is what the video has been um, shown at, on. And then again you have uh, playback location, operating systems, subtitles, and CC. I don't have Video info, info language. I'm just going to have a look at that. So, English uni United Kingdom. So, they're actually, you know, having a look at my videos as well. There's a lot of really good information here that shows you um, cards. I'm not sure if this is here yet. Okay, it is here. Um, these are the cards that I made for my. Uh, videos and um, these are the teaser clicks so this is how many times people have clicked on your, your teaser clicks and this is uh, your percentage and uh, your card clicks and clicks per card which 
just something it looks like definitely have to, to work on. Just we want to make sure that this is all my videos. Okay. Now don't forget I did change the the uh, date. It's on custom. If I went into the um, last seven days. It'll then give me the information for the last seven days. It's just building it up here now. See how it's it's not available at the moment. Let's see if we can refresh the page. Sometimes we move faster than the internet. So more of a display is coming up down here, and it's uh, bringing in the information. Just want to see this one here. No display. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it would. Okay, so now getting back into um, this this page here, and the video is how to add a YouTube channel trailer. And after going through this information here, I'm just gonna click here again, and um, I, I just want to do all videos just to show you. Uh, this is the last seven days. And it looks like it actually went back to that again. So let me just click out of there. Okay. So now getting back into here again, here's your top countries and, and your watch time from survivors, your gender uh, and your age. And being able to click up here will then change the information that you're looking at. The interest, audi the audience retention is really important. Um, and I know sometimes we don't want to look at this because it looks like it's low, but don't worry because the more you uh, work on your channel, it will get higher. Your likes versus did dislikes. Okay, why did they put that in there? I think they put it in there because they want to show you that even though it may look like um, it's a bad thing that you have dislikes, it's not because it also shows interaction and not everybody is going to agree with the information you're giving them. So don't worry about that as well. And scream ele element click rate and I see that I'm not doing good on that so that's something that I can improve on. So uh, this is just a, um, a basic overview, as it says right here, of how you can, as a beginner, use your analytics in your uh, YouTube studio beta to see how your video is doing. So thank you very much for your time. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them down at the bottom and I will answer them. So have yourself a great day.